Yes. Hang on. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> We've got Halloween coming up this week. I thought it would be kind of funny to put on one of those little faces, but it certainly wasn't that one that I wanted. And for some reason, my phone jumped into the wrong one. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. Um, I'm Kelly Atchison coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am from astampabub.com. That's my blog. Welcome. Whether you're watching live tonight, we're going to have a lot of fun. Or whether you watch after the live is done, you can do that on my Facebook page and also on YouTube. So, hey, Rhonda. Hey, Megan. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm just going to get my laptop set up so that I can see your comments a little bit better. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Patty. Okay, and there we go. All right. There we go. Now when I flip my phone over and we start working, I'll be able to see all of your comments. So, um, let me see. Where are my... Here we go. I've got some fabulous, fabulous projects for you tonight. I told you that I would be coming in with some fun folds, so I'm excited to share those with you. Did you guys have a good week? I know it seems like forever since we have played together, right? I hope you had a good week. I had a very good week. It was super busy again. I know. It's like, oh, when is it never going to not be busy? But, um... I got a lot of things done. I had a lot on my plate. I was feeling a little overwhelmed this week, and that doesn't happen very often, but um, I had a lot of swaps that were due in the mail. I had to get a lot of swaps figured out. I had, um, I think, a couple blog hops this week and just a lot of stuff going on, but I nailed it. <laughs> um, I actually went up to my mom's house on Friday, so I got to go bow hunting Friday night, and I didn't see anything, in case you guys missed that. And last night, and I say night, some people say, oh, somebody messaged me and said, you get to hunt at night because where I'm from, they call that poaching. <laughs> yeah, they call that poaching where we are, too. Um, when I say night, I usually go out about 4 o'clock. And that's about all the longer I can stand to sit in a tree and maybe be halfway successful because I'm, um, I don't know if you guys would realize this about me, but sitting still is not really my thing. <laughs> I know, shocking, right? But so I usually go out about four o'clock and then whatever time it gets dark, it gets dark about what, six or 6.30, that's how long I stay in my tree. And if it's cooler out, that's about as long as I can stay warm too. So, um, that's what I mean when I say I go hunting at night. It's late afternoon is when I go hunting. So I saw nine deer last night and it was so very exciting. And anytime I see deer, that is a very successful night for me. And for those of you that are a little, um, <clears throat> not wishing for me to get any deer because you love those little things, um, don't worry. You don't have a lot to worry about. <laughs> I've been bow hunting probably for about, let's see, 15 or 20 years. I'm not even sure. I have only ever been successful one time. One time. So the deer don't have a lot to worry about. And no, I didn't bring any horns home, Renee. <laughs> um, so you don't have a lot to worry about with me. Uh, it's not so much that I am a bad shot, although I'm not going to profess to be any expert or anything, but I don't have the opportunity to shoot with my bow at deer because bow hunting is a really tricky thing. Like when I say all your stars need to be aligned, there are so many things that need to go perfectly for you to be successful. Um, with bow hunting and um, last weekend I had the opportunity to shoot at a buck and I never got the shot off because I got busted and what that means is um, the the buck saw me the, he saw me and he turned around and he didn't like shoot run away but he like trotted off so he didn't really know what I was but he knew I wasn't supposed to be there and that happened because 
um, my arrow tinged onto my quiver of arrows and it came out of the little and I don't know all the terminology because I am not a crazy bow hunter I just know how to put an arrow into my knock an arrow into my um, bow and shoot it but um, then the arrow came out and while I was trying to get that back in and get my release back on the little dealy whopper um, the deer saw me and ran away and that's what happened so all of your stars have to be aligned perfectly for you to get a deer with a bow. It's a very tricky thing. And, um, yeah, and Mary Lynn, I am not trophy hunting because that buck that I was going to shoot had one little horn like this and one little horn like that. I don't care what those antlers, my technical people, my antlers looked like. I could care less. If there's a big buck, I would probably have a heart attack and would never get a shot off anyways. <laughs> so there is a buck big buck running around where I hunt, but um, I have not seen him. Anyways, you don't have a lot to worry about, people, because I've only ever gotten one deer with my um, bow. It's a, it's a very challenging sport, but I love sitting in the tree. I love seeing them in the animals. Um, I love seeing the animals. And you're right, Lisa, it's wildlife management. And here in Wisconsin, we have to have that because otherwise the deer population would get out of control. So there you go. There's my little two cents on hunting. I did get cold last night. My feet got cold. And then, of course, I said, you know what happens when you get cold? Yeah, then I have to pee. Well, that's great. <laughs> um, so I held it. Don't worry. So anyways, um, exciting things going on around my house, too. My husband left. <laughs> he didn't leave for good. But um, I went up north bow hunting Friday, and my husband left Saturday morning for a 10-day um, trip to Nebraska bow hunting. So I'm pretty excited to be home alone. And Linda just asked if I go gun hunting. And yes, I do. I, I do bow hunting. Well, the season starts out for me with bear hunting in Northern Wisconsin. And then when bear hunting season is over, then I start bow hunting. And, um, then the weekend before Thanksgiving is when our gun hunting season opens up here and it lasts for about, um, it lasts for 10 days. So from Saturday to the following week, Sunday. And Lisa, I don't think he's watching. I think he's probably in bed by now because um, they just got up there, or up there, they just got to Nebraska yesterday when I was in my tree. He said he was about 24 miles from their location. And so they probably had a, you know, a lot of work to set up their camp. And then they were probably hunting all day. So I'm excited because last year when he went on this trip, he got the hugest buck ever. Like it's mounted in our garage. It's so huge. And he got it on the first night they were there for their hunting trip. So that kind of sucked <laughs> because he, there he had his deer. He's done. Well, he did, um, he does get a turkey permit. You get two turkeys with your turkey license. So he was able to kind of try and turkey hunt, but he's there for bow hunting for um, deer. So anyways, that's kind of funny. Does Wisconsin have a limit on deer? Yeah, you can get one. Um, some places you can buy extra permits, but um, we're allowed one. Well, I don't know about bow hunting. That's kind of a funny thing, and I think it changes all the time. Cindy just came on. Cindy got a nice eight-pointer over the weekend. Cindy's my friend, and she's also my downline from Nilsville. She got a really nice eight-pointer, so congratulations, Cindy. I know how exciting that is. Um, she might know. I don't know how many deer you can take during bow hunting season, but um, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I don't buy extra permits because I never even fill mine. So, <laughs> but um, during gun hunting, sometimes depending on where you are, you can you can um, get you can buy permits for extra deer. So you get one deer and then you can go buy a permit or whatever. I don't know, but we usually don't have to worry about that either. Years ago, there were tons and tons of deer, so we were getting lots of deer. But now, not so much. And thanks, Sarah. Yeah, congratulations, Cindy. That was awesome. So my husband's gone for 10 days. And I know I probably shouldn't be saying this online, but I mean, let's be real. How many men are watching the show that might live in my community that are going to come over and, you know, murder me or something. But, um, just know I'm packing heat too. So this is not the house to come into. <laughs> um, who helps me haul it out if I get one? Well, that's a funny thing. Depends on who's around. But if I happen to get a deer, I usually call my brother. He lives by my mom 
And um, actually, my cousin Dan and his son were up bow hunting this weekend. They're there for five days now bow hunting. I'm jealous. But um, I could call them and they would come help me. And if those people aren't around, I can call Cindy's husband and Cindy and they will come and help me because friends are nice, right? So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, Suzette, I'm packing heat. So <laughs> it's, um, I, there's some funny stories about that, but I don't know if it's really appropriate to say it on this venue. So <laughs> I'll just keep it to myself. You guys would laugh. Most of you would laugh. Some of you probably would think I was insane. So husband's gone. I'm excited about that. But what's really funny is he's gone for 10 days. So he just left on Saturday. So then that's 7, 8, 9, 10. He comes back on Tuesday or Wednesday. And I leave early on Tuesday to head to Orlando for the Stampin' Up! On Stage um, conference. So I won't even see him. And I'll be gone for a week. <laughs> so we're like... Passing in the night. Yeah, so it'll be kind of funny. Is it cold where I am at the moment? It's not really very cold out now. It was chilly last night because it was really, um, it was really damp out. And hi, Crystal Klein from Alaska. I met Crystal, Steve and I met Crystal on our cruise, Southern Caribbean cruise, was it? I believe so. And her husband, they were honeymooning. They just got married, so that was really cool. Okay. Um, what else is happening? Oh, this week. Super exciting news. Um, Stampin' Up! on Thursday is going to announce via, I believe, a video, um, 2 p.m. Mountain Time for those demonstrators that are online, um, the top 100 global demonstrators in the world. And I'm super excited about this because I did rank in that top 100 last year. And I'm really excited to see where I rank this year because I have had a really good year. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you guys. I can't tell you enough. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. That's coming on Thursday. So that should be really fun. And I will be sitting by with my popcorn and watching that live, of course. Um, what else is happening? Oh, we've been having major blog problems TypePad, uh, which is the platform for my blog. My blog is www.astampabove.com. But um, TypePad has been having really, really bad problems this week. It's something to do with the HTTPS that they changed. It's all a bunch of techie mumbo jumbo. You don't need to know that. But what you do need to know is if you have bookmarked my blog address, and when you click on it now, it says that it's it gives you a little silly looking error page. You need to type in the www.stampabove.com and find it that way and re-bookmark it because it's this is really jacking up a lot of demonstrators' um, traffic. Um, they're not getting sales, which has just made me so sad. Like I know a very very big demonstrator and her sales have dwindled to nothing because of this change and people are not getting to her store to buy stuff so that's horrible right I went in today and I changed all my links I hope they're working um, I did check them all they're working for me so I hope they're working for you you know all this technical stuff can be so weird and there's been so many weird things going on lately like my phone I'll be holding it and looking at it and all of a sudden it'll open up my email I'm like what the heck I didn't tell you to do that so I don't know what's going on but anyways just know that if you have bookmark my blog address and it doesn't work click it into the address or type it into the address go there and rebookmark it because weird things are going on um what else is happening Anytime, da, da, da. Yeah, and if you ever find anything that's not working that I give you a link for, or it's on my blog, or it's on my store, you click on it and it doesn't work, please let me know. Because I don't go on to my blog and click all those buttons. They should be working, right? Yeah, Sandy, gotta love technology. When it works, it's wonderful. But when it doesn't, it is like, ugh. Just want to poke your eyes out. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Let's see, I've got a note here that says half 
emails. Oh, if you emailed me, I wrote myself a note and it was so cryptic. I didn't even know what it said. If you have emailed me since yesterday and I have not gotten back to you, don't worry. I only got through half my emails today and I will get through the rest of them. Which, thank you, Dawn, for sharing. I wanted to let you know that... Um, if you can share my video, you can click on that share button right now. I really appreciate it. That really helps me out spreading the word so I get more people to watch. That's always fabulous. And who's on here that has subscribed to my newsletter? I put out um, some links for people to be able to subscribe to my newsletter. Who subscribed to my newsletter? I got a whole bunch of new subscribers. And if you did subscribe to my newsletter, did you get my 12 Weeks of Holidays series? I'm adding like two to three, three projects every week. Pat did. Yay. Good job. Um, Rose shared. Thank you. Judy, Julie did. Great. So yeah, make sure that you find that. It's on my Facebook page. You can just click on it and put in your email address and name and you'll be subscribed so you will be able to also participate in the fun of my 12 weeks of a holiday series. That's always fun. Okay, what else do I have going on here? Um, don't forget to check out my online classes on my blog. They're in the right-hand column. You'll find an online classes button. I hope that's working. I'll, I didn't check that one, but it should be. Um, I also have a online club. And what that is, is you place a twenty-five minimum $25 order once a month for six months. And at the end of that time, I will send you $30 in product of your choice. So it's like getting a $30 gift certificate from me. And each month, I will send you a um, technique card with the instructions on how to do the technique. And also a card made with the technique. So um, also, also on my blog, or you can email me at kelly at a stamp above dot com, and I will um, send you all the details for that VIP club, and you can decide if you want to join. It's really fun. Hi, Kay. Hi, Shelby. Oh, I'm glad you guys are um, enjoying my 12 weeks of holidays. It's a really fun publication for me to do. And I will be adding to that every week. So every week when you get there, the projects from last week and the week before are still going to be on there, but I'm going to add new ones to the bottom. So, oh, and I have to show you my shirt. How about this? What do you guys think? Oh, it's crooked. There we go. <laughs> Get my boobs situated here. Oop, did I just say that? Um, I had these shirts made for my team members that are going to Orlando next week. And um, then I had this jacket. Whoops, I'm backwards. I had this jacket made. And can you see that? Yes. Okay. So... Lots of fun stuff going on there next week in Orlando. And we're going to go to Epcot. That's where Stampin' Up! is taking the leaders. If you're at a certain title, I believe it's Silver Elite and above, you get to um, go to Epcot for free. So that'll be fun. Okay. I need to share the cards that I got. Where is my... Here's my bucket with my share stuff in it. Okay. I have some just so, I'm so excited about this stuff that I'm showing you tonight. Oh, that's not it. Where did they go? I took them out. <laughs> Hang on. Because I took them out and put them someplace. Here they are. I grabbed the wrong bucket. We will look at the cards that I got. I got a lot of mail this week. Okay. Whoops. Is there anything else here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Let me show you. All right, so this first card is from Wendy Sue Winter. She is from Rhinelander, Wisconsin. And she is coming to my um, old-fashioned Christmas stamp camp this weekend, this coming weekend. This is a um, paper pumpkin card. Isn't that just adorable? This was from the paper pumpkin kit from last year or the year before. I don't really remember, but... Thank you so much, Wendy Sue, for that. This was such a cute, cute card. I loved that kit, too. And then um, from Denise Krieger, I got this Halloween card. And isn't that oh so pretty? I love the line of diamonds on there. Thank you, Denise. That was so sweet. And then I got a beautiful Halloween card from Rose Bell. Rose is on here. 
she posted these online, so I got to see them on there too, but I think I got my card in the mail first. So this is from Rose, and it says, thank you for your videos and learning new things. God bless. Thank you, Rose. That is so sweet. This uses that um, Toil and Trouble, what's that stamp set bundle called? Toil and Trouble, I think. Something like that. Anyways, it's the Halloween set in the mini catalog. And then... I got a really nice card from, this is from Susie Reno, and Susie Reno is one of my upline, and um, she sent this card with a whole big note in it to um, tell me that she is excited I am going to on stage next week, and she also sent me a Stampin' Up! bone folder that is engraved with my name on it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, and on stage, Orlando. So what a fun, memorative um, item to keep. And I'm looking forward to seeing her in Orlando next week. And then I got a card from, are you ready for this? Look at this one. Sarah Douglas. Yeah, Sarah Douglas is running Stamping Up. And this is the card that I got from her. And this was congratulating me on my $700,000 milestone that I got a few months ago. So that is super sweet when the, um, is it CEO? I think that might be her title, of your company sends you a personal hand, and she did. She wrote handwritten card. It's not just a form. So that's always really exciting, right? All right, so that was my mail for the week. I love getting mail. And let's see, what else do I have to show you? Um... I think it's time to turn our camera around. Oh, prizes, you guys. Okay, Joanne says she's never been to on stage and was saving up to try and go even had a condo. Oh, no, I'm missing the rest of your message. I'm so sorry, but it said see more, and I can't see more. To stay in for nothing, but it turned out to be our, oh, it's your 50th wedding anniversary. Well, you know what? There'll be another on stage that you can try and go to. That's that's kind of heartbreaking, but good for you for 50 years. That's amazing. That's a big accomplishment nowadays. Yeah, happy anniversary, Joanne. We have winners from last week. So, usually I know where all these people are from, but this week I do not. Whoops, that's not a winner. Hang on. Oh, here's a winner. So, um, for leaving a comment. Now, there's three ways for you guys to win. Make sure you're commenting. Let me know where you're coming from. Or you have to type something in and leave a comment to get entered in the drawing. Um, for leaving a comment, last week I have Carrie Schwanke, I believe is how you say. Oops, Carrie's name. Boy, that brightness is really kind of killing the tone here. Hang on, you guys. I'm going to take that light off of here because it's just too bright. There we go. So Carrie... Schwanky, and I think she might live in Burlington, Wisconsin, but she lives in Wisconsin, I believe. You are the winner, and you need to send me a private message with your address in it, or you can email it to me at kelly at a stamp And um, I will get this out in the mail to you right away. Congratulations. And then for sharing my video, our winner today is Karen Piermarni. Wait, Pier. Marini, Pier Marini, Karen Pier Marini, and she actually shared on YouTube. And this is the first time I've done a drawing from our sharing on YouTube. So I just thought, well, it was time, right? Um, so there we go. She is going to get the Santa's Workshop enamel shapes. And um, Karen, you also need to contact me so I can get your address. So I can mail this off. And then our last winner from last week is Sally Johnson of Kemp, Texas. She won the stamp set for the order that she placed. And the signs of Santa is so adorable. I am um, going to be using it tonight. So this is a perfect, perfect gift for Sally. And she'll be able to have some ideas when she gets it in the mail. So Carrie and Karen, please contact me with your um, address so I can mail off these prizes. And Sally, don't worry. I have your address and I will be mailing your prize out first thing tomorrow. 
All right, let me set this someplace where I won't lose it because I did that one time. I couldn't find the prizes. I'm like, where did the prizes go? I'm ready to go to the post office. All right, um, I think we're ready to stamp. Did I miss any questions, you guys? If I missed any questions, let me know. Um, I am going to flip my camera around. So thanks, you guys, for congratulating everybody that won. That is just good sportsmanship, isn't it? I'm going to flip my camera around now. So if you get motion sickness, you need to close your eyes, and I will tell you when to open them up. So let me get just set this aside. Okay, close your eyes. There we go. Not ready yet. Don't open them back up yet. As soon as I get situated here, I will let you know. And I have to um, turn my camera back around. There we go. Okay. I think we're in business. Okay, you can open your eyes. We are ready for some stamping. Okay, before I go too far, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a project kit and this is the Timeless Tidings project kit and it is phenomenally beautiful. Now, I wanted to show this to you guys quite a while ago, but here's the deal. It went on back order pretty quickly because of course it is just smashingly beautiful. And um, so there's no sense in showing you something if you can't order it because if you're like me, you wanna order what I'm showing you if you like it, right? So I don't like to show you stuff if it's on back order, but look at all these beautiful, beautiful elements. These are gold foil lined. These are all layers for the cards in this kit. They are absolutely beautiful. These feel like pockets. Oh, there we go. So I believe, and I haven't done this kit yet, but I think these go right on here. Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and these are die cut. Yeah, so these pop right out of here. And so I'm showing this to you now because these are not on back order anymore. Look at these gold lined envelopes too. Oh, and, they're, and they have insides. Look at that. So you guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful kit. And then I didn't even have my kit because a fellow demonstrator let us know that she was holding a fundraiser for a coworker that had cancer. And she had 50 people signed up coming to this event using this kit. And so what happened is the kit went on back order right before she was ready to order and she needed 50 of these kits. So what do Stampin' Up! demonstrators do? You know, they're the nicest people in the world. We all sent her the kits that we had. And although I only had one kit, I mailed it off to the East Coast to her. And she was keeping track so she could replace everybody's kits. But a lot of us said, no, you do not pay me for this kit. You do not replace this kit. It is for a good purpose. And that's exactly what I did. I donated my kit to her fundraiser. So I just got this in the mail on Friday and I am super excited to sit down with it and make some of these gorgeous, gorgeous cards. And I can't wait to share that with you, but it's not gonna happen today because I already told you guys that we were gonna be doing fun folds. Look at how pretty this is. This is, I haven't even really looked through this yet because like I said, well, you saw me, I just opened it, but it is just gorgeous. So we'll probably be doing something with that coming up very soon, just so you know. But I wanted to let you know that if you like kits, this one, oh, here we go. This one is just absolutely the most gorgeous thing ever. Hang on, I gotta get my cord out of the way here for you. Yeah, and I do have my phone plugged in. So, um, but this kit is just so, so pretty. And this would be a great thing to, you and your friends order the kit and then you all get together and have some wine and some hors d'oeuvres or cheese and crackers and sit down and make these because um, all you need is, oh, I have a stamp set too. I almost forgot about that. Hang on a second. Here's the stamp set. 
one of you can order the stamp set and everybody can order the kit and you can get together and make Christmas cards and have wine and have a girls night out. That is a really, really fun thing to do. But this is the kit that was made for this. I'm, I mean the stamp set, and of course you don't have to get the stamp set, but the greetings do fit in all the little tags that they have there. But I just wanted to show that to you and let you know why I have been neglecting it. It was not on purpose. It was due to necessity. I gave my kid away, and um, they were on back order, so couldn't even get them anyways because they're so, so popular. All right, let me move that out of the way. And then, let me see which card are we going to do here. I like this little Christmas card, so let's do that first. I'm going to bring in the um, Santa card. Whoops, hang on. I'm going to have bins falling all over the place here shortly. Here we go. Ooh, make sure I keep those too. All right, so we have the Signs of Santa and the Santa's Signpost Framelits. Here comes all my layers, and I wanted to show you guys these, too. And guess what? We're going to be doing a little coloring tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. And a little Wink of Stella. So, that'll be fun. And we're also going to use these. These are the Santa's Workshop enamel shapes. We're going to use those on our card. And I've got my stamp set right here. And... Oh, this paper is just so, so pretty. Um, it's actually very elegant and pretty on one side and then really fun on the other side. I've got all these little presents and elves and snowmen. Um, and this is flocked. All of this has got some flocking on it, like um, raised images. That you, It's just so cool. So anyways, that is back in stock. I just got two packs of it in the mail. Then I wanted to let you guys know about this little, I know a lot of people, you know, you can look through the mini catalog a million times and still miss stuff. And this is really neat because this is called our Santa's Workshop Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. And what do you get in here? You get these cards. They're already scored for you. They fold right in half and they fit right in these little envelopes. So um, you have a bunch in this size, and then you have your larger envelopes and cards, cardstock that is, again, scored, and it's white on the inside. So these are really nice, and I am excited to start working with those. But we're going to make cards tonight. So I am going to get out my ink. I've got Memento ink and Poppy Parade. And it's kind of funny that, whoops, hang on. This paper is not really real red. It's Poppy Parade. And I don't know. I always think of Poppy as kind of an orange color, but it sure looks red to me. What do you think? Yeah, that's, yeah, I know. It's weird, right? Okay. So we're going to get out all of our layers here. I told you I was going to do some fun folds and I'm excited to be showing these to you because it's a little different. A little different than what I've done in the past. And you know I always love to do that. Let's get out all the things. And the dies. There we go. Okay. We have got a piece. Oh, I was going to print this off and I forgot to do it. So bear with me for a second. I am going to print my paper here so that I can keep watching your comments. And hang on. There it goes. Okay. I just heard it start. Then I'll be able to grab that. Okay. So I got a piece of cardstock. This is five and a half by seven and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to fold on that score line. And again, this is Poppy Parade cardstock. So hang tight. I'm going to go grab my printout. It's right over here on the other side of the room. Remember, my room's not that big. <laughs> then I'll have all of these measurements for you. Okay. Then we are going to take 
a piece of um, Whisper White cardstock. This is three inches by five and a half. We're gonna do some stamping on that. This is our inside layer, and this is five and a half by, um, hang on, five and a half by, I think this is wrong. No, I don't think it is. This is for the inside. Oh, so five and a half by four and a quarter. There you go, sorry about that. Then I've got a piece of our designer series paper and this is the, the this is flocked. These stripes are like um, velvet paper stripes. And this is one inch by five and a half. And then I've got a scrap of Poppy Parade, a scrap of Whisper White, a scrap of our um, self-adhesive sheets, and then some glimmer, or spike, sparkle paper. This is our sparkle glimmer paper. Okay, got just a little bit of stamping to do here. And I'm going to do that right away. I've got the wishing you everything on your list. Oh, let me move this so I can keep monitoring. Yes, Cynthia, thank you. I do have my phone plugged in, but bless your heart for <laughs> keeping track of me. Okay, so here we go. Hang on just a second. I am using the layering circle dies, so I am going to put this little circle on here. This is the circle that's about one and three eighths inches. And then I've got the scalloped circle out of this scrap of poppy parade that I'm going to run through the big shot. And of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> I love that magic of TV. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, the donation was a no-brainer for me. First of all, I, I just thought about the logistics of what Patty was dealing with. That's my friend who ran this event. The logistics of what she was dealing with, getting 50 kits from all over the country that she's going to now have to reimburse people or order new ones and send them to them. And... Oh my Lord, it just gave me a panic attack thinking about it. And I thought, I do not want you dealing with that. And, you know, having had breast cancer myself, um, I didn't need a fundraiser. Thank God we are very blessed to have exceptional health insurance. But um, I certainly know that my friends would have done that had it been necessary. So it's just a really good cause. All right, Memento Inc. with the little Santa Claus here. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this sparkle paper and I am going to add the um, self-adhesive backing to it. And you guys see me using these more and more because I actually got them out and put them on my desk. <laughs> so I would remember to use them. So you just stick that right on there and we're going to leave that on there while we die cut these little snowflakes. And this comes with this bundle. So um, I did not do this ahead of time. I know, I'm kind of bad, right? But I happen to have a big shot right here. So we'll just bring that in and we'll die cut those right away. So we have some stickers. And this is just a really neat way to uh, save yourself with little delicate things. I think that this adhesive paper is just phenomenal. And there we go. So, what are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my anniversary cup here. And I've got Pepsi in there right now. But I have to tell you something. I have to confess. So, you know, I went on this big weight loss thing. And I lost, um, well, I don't know, 18 pounds or so. And, um, yeah, so since I started drinking Pepsi again pretty much gained like 10 or 15 of it back. So um, not very productive, right? <laughs> no, it is not. So I think I'm going to have to go back on my little diet thing. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping in here. Now, we're going to take this one inch piece of designer series paper and we're going to add it to the side here. Yeah, it really is a cute suite of products, isn't it? I just... I've just started playing with this. I was just so busy with all of our beautiful fall stuff 
that um, I just started playing with this sweet. We're gonna glue this on the left side of our Whisper White layer. Hang on, because my um, comments are not keeping up. I am not, there we go, gin and tonic. <laughs> Yay, good for you. Um, and then I wanted to stamp this cutie patootie little sign. This is just so adorable. Look at that, isn't that just sweet? So I've got that stamped. And then I'm going to come in with the one that says North Pole. I gotta stand up for this, so I don't wanna mess this up. There's our North Pole. And then I grabbed the Ho Ho Ho. And this greeting is coming from the Greetings from Santa. This was a stamp set in last year's catalog maybe. I don't remember for sure, but I love all the Christmassy things in here, don't you? You've even got a tree and a deer. This is a great greeting set, some snowflakes. Okay, and I'm inking that in the Poppy Parade, and I'm gonna stamp that right here. And then I've got the and more. Now the front of our card is going to say, wishing you everything on your list, and then there's the and more. So I'm gonna put the and more right there. Isn't that cute? Yes, it is. Okay, let me put these things away. We've got a little bit of coloring to do here. This is a quick and easy coloring. So I've got my Poppy Parade, and I'm just going to color in my little Santa hat. This is the dark, right? Yeah, the dark one. This is our Stampin' Blend alcohol marker. And then his little coat. And these are just perfect for this type of coloring. Love, love, love it. And I'm not using the lighter shade because I just want his jacket to be solid in this red that I thought was orange but really isn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then we're also going to do Look at I'm getting myself all full of ink here. We're also going to color in this little pole that's going to be on the inside because you guys know what I say. Do not neglect those insides. The party should not end when somebody opens your card. That's my motto. And I, now don't get me wrong, I don't always get um, all of my insides of my cards colored. So just know that. I am not above this either. <laughs> but I try. And this is that light, I think, crumb cake. And I'm just gonna color my sign. Isn't that just the cutest? Let me make sure this is light. Nope, this is dark. I wanted to use light, but dark works fine too. And then I'm coming in with the Wink of Stella. And we're going to put that on the snow. And I know that's really, really hard for you to see in the camera. But trust me, it's there, and the person I'm sending this to is going to see it. I'm going to add that on my hat and the Santa beard and mustache. Because why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's so, so cute. Okay, last thing I want to do here. Um, let's see. We've got light petal pink, and that is the color that I have been liking to use for skin. It works really, really good for skin. So I've got that there, and then I think I used the ivory. Yep, here's my ivory, and I'm just going to take my ivory, and I'm going to give him just a little bit of ground here so he's not... You know, I don't like it when they're standing out never, never land. Okay, now we're going to do our stickers. So here are our die cut stickers. And let's see if I can get these apart. I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool to help me get the adhesive off. That little sheet. There we go. Well, I guess I didn't really need it. My fingernail worked quite well. Okay, here comes one. And then here comes another one. Oh, look, the backing is already off this one. That's awesome. 
And one more. That's kind of what I would hope was hoping they would do is that they, oh, look it. Can you see what I'm doing there? I'm just kind of pulling that and look at this. The backing stayed in there and the sticker is right here. So we're just going to put that there. And then I've got these little jewels. I've just started playing with these. I've been giving these away for um, prizes for quite a while now, but I haven't really done much with them. Well, I haven't really been making that many Christmas cards either. Now I'm in the Christmas card making mood. So these little enamel shapes are really fun. And I'm just going to add these because they add fun to this really fun card, right? There we go. Okay, I think we might be ready to put this together. I've got one more thing I wanna do. This is our textured weave ribbon, and this is Poppy Parade, and how wide is this? This is half inch ribbon. And I'm just gonna take a little piece here and cut it. There we go. So I've got my ends, what are we doing this way? Flagged, yes, okay, there we go. I'm going to take this and put it on the back of my little greeting. So I'm just gonna add some tape. You can do this with mini glue dots too. I just always have tape on my desk. So whatever's handy for you and will work. And then I need dimensionals and I want this to be really sturdy so I think I'm gonna fit two dimensionals on here I don't like it when my cards fall apart that doesn't happen too often but I don't want to be that lady that sends the cards that fall apart right okay here we go are you ready for this this piece this three inch piece that we colored with the Santa is gonna go on here. Now, notice that my card is not opening normal. It's opening like this. I'm going to put this right over here. I'm gonna leave the margins on the right and the left about the same. So that's what we have. This piece is going on inside. And we're gonna line this up right at the edge like that. Oh my gosh, this is so, so cute, isn't it? And here comes our little greeting on the front. There we go. Just a little bit different. It opens the opposite way. And I thought this was super, super cute. What do you guys think? Thank you so much. I I just I'm I'm in love with this. And see, can you see the the wink of Stella on there? I hope you can see that in the camera because I think this is so stinking adorable. Okay. We're going to go on to the Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hang on. I have these all in here for a reason. I forgot to color his buckle. And I am just using I believe this is Daffodil Delight. Nope, Light Mango Melody is the color that I chose for his little buckle. And now we have that all done. I'm gonna leave my Wink of Stella out here because you never know when I might need that again. And I need to put all of these little dies away so I don't lose them. Oh, you guys know what I did? I am so, so sad. So I took some swap cards up north to my mom's house um, Friday so I had some stuff to work on and I think I lost one of my greeting stamps like I think I laid it out here on my desk like I laid it out so I could put a block on it and, and load it in one of my cases and I think it got stuck to something because I went to put all my stamps away and it's not there and ah, it's not there and it's not um, in the case and now I'm really sad because it was one of the get well verses from um, Healing Hugs, which is one of my favorite sets. So anyways, I'll stop whining. Well, I won't. I'll probably whine about it some more. Don't you hate it when that happens? Okay, I wanted to do one more thing here. Here is my cute little envelope, and isn't that just adorable? But the last thing that I wanted to do is also in the stamp set is a seal. And I wanted to stamp that on my envelope because it is so adorable. And this comes with the stamp set, and it says, Official Seal of the North Pole. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Okay, now I'm done with that. 
Let me put these away and bring out the next card. We've got a full schedule tonight, I'll tell ya. Lots and lots of fun stuff to make. I'm just gonna set this here while I get everything out of the way and bring in the next one. I've got another Christmas card for you. And before that, we'll take a little intermission. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to take an intermission. But um, this Snowflake special, this is a promotion that goes for the month of November. This starts on Thursday where all of these products are going to be available. And we've got um, Snow is Glistening stamp set and the Happiness Surround stamp set. And then we've got these amazing snowfall thin lips. And these are so, so pretty, you guys. I just want to make sure you're aware that this is happening this week. And look at all of these beauties. Now, next week, I'll be able to show you a bunch of samples made with this. Um, I don't want to show you now because I have my old-fashioned Christmas stamp camp next weekend. And I like the element of surprise for the people that are attending. So I will be showing you what we're making with this after that. And look at, here are those embellishments. These are really nice and thin, so they're not going to add bulk. These are the Snowflake Trinkets. They have, um, well, it's more like a glass dot in the middle as opposed to a rhinestone. It's more like our droplets in the middle of them. And we have white velvet paper. That's what this is. You get two sheets just like the rest of our 12 by 12, like the silver and the gold and the champagne. But look at this beauty. I just got this in a swap. And I am oh, drooling over this. Isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah, this is, this is the die. Here's the trinket. Here's some more dies in that set. Such a very pretty card. Okay, so you'll be able to see some of these um, next week that I have made because I I think I've got three cards made with this and I've got one more on the way. But I thought I'd just pop that out there so you know um, what's happening. I always like to keep you guys informed, right? Okay, next. Next Christmas card. I am just going to set this one over here. And bring in the next card. So the next one is using the All is Bright Designer Series paper. And the Making Christmas Bright stamp set. And a couple punches here. Let's move that out of the way. And embossing. We are going to be embossing. Bold embossing, actually. So I chose this paper right here. I love, love, love the ornaments on here. And then we're going to be making some stuff with this other paper too, because sometimes I think we kind of, um, I don't know, but I kind of look at stuff like, well, yeah, now I know what to do with that, but I don't know what to do with the rest of this. And that's what I'm here for is to show you what to do with the rest of it. All right. We are going to get out our cardstock. And here are all our pieces. Now, I left myself a note because that's where I need to stamp. And I didn't want to mess that up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my embossing buddy. And we're going to do some embossing here and here. First embossing that we're going to do, I'm using Versamark ink. So if you guys came on late, don't forget to click on that share button and share my video. I really, really, really appreciate that. Then I'm going to move my ink pad out of the way here. I'm going to come in. Oh, you know what? I can do this one right away too. Come in like this. And I'm going to put some powder on. Make sure I stay in my camera frame here. And we are going to emboss this. So this is all from the Making Christmas Bright stamp set. Let me get rid of this other one over here. Okay, so I would heat set both of these. And once I've done that, the 
through the magic of TV, I already have that heat set. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with the May Your Christmas Be, and I'm going to add that to the center of this, and then the word bright. Now, I didn't mount these on the same block because I found that I couldn't get them close enough for what I wanted to do here. So, otherwise, I would have put both words on the same block, but I couldn't do that. And now I'm going to emboss this. There we go. And hang tight while I put this away. I might have some people on here who have not embossed before, so I want to make sure that you know how to do that. And once you heat set it, <laughs> I know, just like magic, once you heat set it, then um, this is what it looks like. And Sherry, why do you have tears on your face? I missed something. Somebody else has tears too. What's going on? Oh, ha, for my missing stamp, you guys are so sweet. I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I miss? Thank you so much. But, you know, it does really make me sad. But, uh, uh, you know, you know, yeah. Um, I might find it yet. I need to go through all that stuff I took to my mom's house. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope it turns up somewhere. But the last time I did this, it never turned up. Okay, so once you have this all embossed, then I'm going to come in with the two and a quarter inch circle punch, or you can use your layering framelits too, whatever works for you. And hang on a second while I find my other piece. This was that little um, ornament end or the end for a light bulb. I'm going to use it for an ornament. So I have that. Oh, I didn't leave this long enough, you guys. That's hateful. Hang on, because here's what I'm going to do. Watch this little trick. You ever do this when you don't leave something long enough to be able to hold it into your punch? Just tape it to another piece. <laughs> That's how we make things work. Yeah. It's not my first rodeo. Not the first time I've screwed up either. Okay, so here comes this little piece. Hang on. And I'm going to take this with a mini dimensional and I'm going to attach it to my little ornament because that's what I'm making out of this is an ornament just like that okay see what I did just like that and then I'm going to put some more dimensionals on the back of my ornament did I miss any questions, you guys? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Dawn goes, oh, my gosh. Those snowflake dies, they are incredible, you guys. Incredible. Okay, here comes our card. The other thing that I wanted to tell you about is, um, again, this is the same layout, just a totally different card. This is five and a half by seven and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. And then um, for the inside, I stamped it with Versamark ink and gold embossed it. And do you love, look at these. This little string of stars right here is so cool. And that, for some reason, is a very popular item right now. I just saw it when I was searching for something online in a um, Christmas sale brochure had a whole bunch of these stars hanging down behind whatever they were saying. So that's a very popular thing right now. So I stamped a couple of those and then the friends make the season shine. And again, this is all from the same stamp set. This is the same dimensions as the last card. And now we're ready to put this together. So I've got a one inch piece of our gold glimmer paper, one by five and a half. Just like we did with the striped red paper. We're going to put this right over here. You guys, this is such an easy card. And wait till you see it finished. It's incredible. Then we've got the All is Bright Designer Series paper. And we're going to put that right on this right panel. I'm trying to center it. I'm not having a lot of... <laughs> I'm not doing too good with that. <laughs> There we go. 
want to make sure it's straight because then we're going to bring in two little slivers. These are both five and a half inches by about an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to take, you know what would be a really smart thing to do is to put these on a self-adhesive paper. Hello. Yeah, but I didn't because, well, you know, can't think of everything. So I'm just running a little line of glue right here and sticking these little slivers down. And I just butt this right up against my designer series paper. And there we go. Hang on, I gotta wipe here because I just got some, I think I just got some glue on my fingers. We don't want everything to be sticking to me. I got enough problems, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mary's watching me and the Red Sox. You know what? Our Packers lost, I think, tonight. I didn't get to see the exact end of the game, but it was pretty close, and I think they blew it. Make sure that your ornaments are hanging the right way. I was very lucky that I wasn't paying attention to that, but they are hanging the right way. And now I'm going to take the backing off of my dimensionals, and I'm going to put this right in line here. And I just, isn't this so, so pretty? Yeah. And it, it all started with this paper. And I'm like, oh, what can I do with this paper? Yeah, it's just gorgeous, right? So, oh, somebody must have just asked what this is. This is an embossing buddy. And you want to run this over your cardstock before you stamp with the Versamark ink. Because, um... You only want the embossing powder to stick to your stamped image. And when you use this, that keeps makes that happen. Especially if you're in a state that has static cling in the winter, you'll get embossing powder sticking in places you don't want it. And this really helps to keep that from happening. And no, um, Rhonda, we do not have a gold ink pad. We have gold embossing powder. So, yeah. Oh, maybe it's in my Stamparatus. Did somebody just say that? Oh my gosh, I have 306 people watching me right now. That is crazy. Thank you guys so much. Okay, are you ready for the next card? Because I have a lot of stuff to show you tonight. What time is it? 8.01. Oh my goodness. Well, hang tight, people, because you're in for a ride. <laughs> Let me put this away so we can go to the next one. All right, I'll just leave that card sit there for a second so you can check that out some more. I have to keep my glue. I'll get rid of this and this and this and this and this. Okay, here comes the next one. Now, this is a different fun fold. And it is pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. I was pretty impressed with this. Now, I saw somebody else do this online last week. And then as I started digging around, I saw um, I saw this idea from a long time ago. So this is nothing new, new, but I think it's new to us because I don't remember ever seeing it. So I'm going to bring out the punches. Time for a drink, you guys. Ah. Yeah. Um, and then, where's my cardstock? Here it is. I'm going to bring this in first. Let's set this aside. I'll show these all at the end again. I'm going to bring in a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to show you some neat little things here. Because I chose to use the Labels to Love stamp set. So I've got a lot of little elements in here that I want to show you. First thing we're going to do, and let me get my bearings about me here is we are going to stamp, I've got Real Red, Old Olive, and Shaded Spruce ink here. Where's my markers? Right here. I'm gonna stamp with the Real Red, and I'm gonna stamp a label here, okay? And then I am going to come in with, oh, not that one. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Hang on, I was a little confused. Now I'm gonna come in with the Shaded Spruce, which is just a beautiful green for Christmas. I'm really liking this color. And I'm gonna stamp right inside there. Oh, that's kind of crooked. So um, I would make that straight. <laughs> Let's try that again. 
Kelly's going to stand up this time so she can see what she's doing. It's really hard to stay out of the camera and see what you're doing. So much better, right? I got some edges there, though. Do you see this? That needs to be trimmed off. And you know what? I'm going to do that right now because I know there's a lot of people that might think this is crazy and be afraid to do it. And I want to show you that it is okay. You want to make sure that your scissors are straight up and down so you're not angling this rubber anyway. It's got to be straight up and down cut. And when I get edges off of a stamp like that, that makes me insane. And I hate it. So I will go through and I will trim the ones that are giving me trouble. Just like that. Yep, that's exactly what I do. I like hack up my stamps because I want them to work to the best of their abilities and that certainly was not. So, after a little haircut, let's try that again. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I just can't win tonight, you guys. Do you see what I did? I pushed too hard. Okay. We're going to try this one more time. Usually third time's a charm, but in this case, it might be four. Yay, that's going to work. Here comes our words. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. And here we go. Whew. I think I might have redeemed myself. I'm going to bring in this label punch. Is that what this is called? The label punch? I've had this for a while. I kind of forgot to make sure. Look at that label. Isn't that oh so pretty? Yeah. So I'll show you in a second what I'm going to do with it. Now I'm going to bring in the thanks from the same labels to love stamp set. And I am going to ink that up in the green. And then, oops, I just smooshed it way too hard again. Let's try that. Look at, I've got a lot of edges on here too. I hate that. Stamparatus is another good tool that won't allow you to get edges. So if you're using that consistently, you won't have to do this. But I mean, it certainly doesn't, will never hurt anything. Okay, let's try that again. Now that makes me happy. I am going to ink this in the old olive. And then I'm going to dampen a um um what is this? A Q-tip. And I'm going to take the color off the thanks. Now, I tried this earlier where I just colored over the thanks that had the green ink on it. And it made my thanks brown. And I want my thanks to be Cajun craze. So now I'm going to come in and I am going to ink up the thanks word with the Cajun craze. And hopefully it will really be Cajun craze. <sighs> Huff on it. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. I've got my one and a half inch punch here and I'm gonna punch that out. How pretty is that? I love that. So now we have two labels here. And then I've got one more to show you, I believe. I am coming in with the Merry Christmas one and I'm going to ink it up in red. And then I'm just gonna come in here I'm going to wet this a little bit. I'm putting this on my chamois that has um, its damp. And I'm going to take the ink off the trees. Now, before I just stamped, well, that didn't work. Hang on, I just took the ink off of the edge, too. Before I just colored over with the green marker, it didn't look all that green. So I decided I would take the ink off those trees. And you may have a better way of doing this, but this is what I did. Huff on it. You're huffing on it to make it moist again. Look at that. Look at those trees. Isn't that cool? I love this. Okay, here we go. You can get it in there, line it up. I don't want it to be all crooked. Hey, right, there we go. We've got this label this label, and this label so far. And now I'm gonna show you the card 
and make that for you because it's really cool. Okay, where'd my card go? Right here. Here's the first one I'm going to work with. And the rest of my pieces. Okay, this is the neatest thing. And this is where you can stop hoarding that designer series paper, you guys. <laughs> this is the Country Lane designer series paper. Oh, let me close these up here a little bit. I do need one more ink pad. I need my Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to have that in here. I'm just going to close these up and move them out of the way so that we have some room to work. We. Notice I say we. I always include you guys in here. Always. <laughs> just like you're here. I wish you could be here with me. Okay. Shar said Steve's it home. No, Steve is not home tonight. Steve is in Nebraska bow hunting. He is gone for 10 days. We talked about this a lot at the beginning, and I am celebrating. And don't get me wrong, I love him dearly, but I am home alone for 10 days. He's having the time of his life, and I am loving this. Okay, let me, let me stop jabbering about my life. This is the Country Home Designer Series paper, and this is four inches wide, by 10 and a half inches long. Didn't score a thing. All I did was take it and fold it in half. And I'm not even going to score this. I'm just going to pull this back however far you want it. This is probably about one and a quarter inches that I've folded it back. Okay. Then I have a piece of Blackberry Bliss that is a quarter sheet of cardstock. Four and a quarter by five and a half. And, um, Jennifer, thank you for the measurements on that other card. Jennifer is correct. It was, this is five and a half by seven and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. And all these measurements will be posted on, um, above this Facebook video as soon as I'm done stamping tonight. So you guys can find them right away as soon as I post that video. Okay, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am going to take a little bit of our burlap ribbon here and I'm going to grab my tape. I'm just going to tape this around the back of my designer series paper layer. Now the cool thing about this is it uses a lot of designer series paper. Number one, get that paper out and start using it. Number two is there's no scoring. You just cut a four inch strip by 10 and a half and you start folding and it is the coolest thing ever. I immediately was like, oh my gosh, that's the best thing I've ever seen. So I'm going to, whoops, add my adhesive to the back here and I'm gonna glue this right to this little quarter sheet. Now, of course, what we just did is we created a pocket. So I'm calling this a pocket card. Didn't really have a name, but I'm giving it a name. Now the next thing I'm going to do, where's my scrap of white? Oh, you know what? I think I need, um, here's a scrap of white. <laughs> Just pulled it out of my garbage. <laughs> Don't worry, there's only paper in that garbage. There's no food or anything gross in there like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my country home stamp set. You guys, you guys know it, right? Country Home. I have been killing it with this set. Like, I love this stamp set. I've made so many things with it. I'm going to stamp the flowers on this little scrap. And then I'm going to use the one and a half inch circle punch to punch my flowers out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then, where did my other pieces? Here's my... This is one and three quarter inch circle. I'm just gonna glue these two together. Ta -ta -da -da. And I need dimensionals. I'm gonna take some of our mini dimensionals. Now instead of sticking them on the back of here, I'm gonna put them right on my pocket card. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Does anybody else ever do that? Oh my gosh, me and my mom, we have so much fun because she'll say, oh my gosh, I can't remember anything. I'm like, mom, you're 73 years old. You shouldn't remember anything. I said, I can't remember anything either and I have no excuses. 
I went with my mom to the um, church. They had like this craft sale on Saturday and a salad luncheon. And it was really kind of cute because I, I didn't think the whole thing was that great. But all my mom kept saying was, wow, that salad lunch was so nice, wasn't it? And I kept saying, yes, it certainly was. And I just thought it was so darn sweet that she thought that was just the nicest thing that we went to that together. And I thought, you know what? You need to stop with your, mm, I didn't think it was that great. And just, I was just so happy that my mom was so happy that we went. I can't even tell you. So, yeah. Um, I think I am going to put this right about here. You are the happy to my day. You know, and it's just those little things that can make your parents so grateful. And I'm just so lucky to have a mom that, you know, she is just really grateful for everything. Bless her heart. But she's a pretty wonderful mom. She's been a fabulous mom. And I'm sorry for people who don't have a nice mom because I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, so back to happy thoughts now. I know I always go to I'm so blessed. And um, I just wish everybody else was too, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad. Oh, who just said that? I just, it just went up. That was Jackie. You're glad I just did that because she had problems with a stamp last night. Yeah. You know what? These are your stamps and you can do whatever you want to them. And I sell all of my stamps once they retire for the most part. And um, I cut them up like that because the next person isn't going to have a good time with it. Okay, you guys, what do you think? Isn't this cool? Love it. There you go. Oh, so let me talk about this a little bit. <laughs> this piece is three and a half. The white piece is Whisper White three and a half by four and three quarters. The um, Rich Razzleberry piece is five by three and three quarters. So three and a half by four and three quarters, five by three and three, oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Now let's start over. White is three and a half by four and three quarters. The um, Blackberry Bliss, is five by three and three quarters. And this just slides right in there. And who is going to be using their designer paper? Me! So let me show you what I did with all of these. Who wants to see what I did with all of these? Yeah, Melanie, I know you're a paper hoarder. You're not kidding anybody. <laughs> Holy cow. So funny. Um, let's see. Do I have... Oh, yeah. I've got another one to share with you. So here comes another one. I took the Share What You Love Designer Series paper. Ah, hang on. Things are falling. And I folded it in half. And then I just folded a little bit of it back. Same thing here. Same dimensions I just gave you. This is a half an inch. Okay. Half an inch across, across there. And you get that off of this because you're cutting this at 10 and a half inches. So you get a couple slivers, right? So I took this and I am going to, whoops. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and glue this right down to my five by four and a quarter inch basic black piece. Now you want to watch your patterns when you're doing this because I needed my words to be right side up here, right? And then I've got this piece and let's see, where's my scrap of white again? Oh, I've got one right here. We can use this. Um, and then I decided to use some of the stamps out of the A Big Thank You. Okay. And I am going to stamp... Oh, I know, this was my scrap. I wasn't using white. That's why I'm, I'm so confused. I'm like, where is my white scrap? But I was not using white. I'm going to use this color, and I'm also going to use Memento Black Ink, and I'm going to stamp the grateful every day for you. Oh, that's a little bit too hard. There we go. That looks so much nicer, doesn't it? Then I'm going to come in with the one and a half inch circle punch, 
And I'm punching that up kind of high so that I can also come in and stamp this leaf right here. That looks nice, doesn't it? And then did you guys see a black? Yep, there it is. I knew I had a black circle here someplace. Here comes, I, I stamped this on Mint Macron with black ink. And now I'm gonna come in, let me close that before I have a disaster. And I'm going to tie this with some black baker's twine. Now, I wanna tie a bow, so I'm gonna leave a tail and I'm gonna wrap this around three times and cut this off. Now you guys know when I work with Baker's Twine I always tie a knot first because then I don't have to futz around trying to tie a bow and keep this all tight, right? Baker's Twine you can do that because it's thin. And then I'm going to tie a bow. Wait till you see this one. This one's really pretty. And then I've got some more to show you. So hang tight. I know. I'm dragging, you know, I'm keeping you guys a little bit extra tonight because I've got some time coming up that I am not going to be on Sunday nights. Um, just because I'm going to be gone. And that's going to be really hard. And I thought about, I can pre-record a Facebook Live on one of my private pages and share it with you on the Sunday nights that I'm not going to be here to do it live. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Because I'm like, I don't want to do something really stupid and hokey. But, um, you know, you can still comment as you're watching the video. That, you know, would still work. Um, I might even be able to watch it from wherever I am also. Because I know that with um, gun hunting coming up on, let's see, the, 7th, the, the 18th of November... I am not going to be home by 7 o'clock. I know that. So I would certainly be willing to do that. You guys let me know if you want me to pre-record and maybe I, can, maybe I can do something like that. Look at this. Isn't this just adorable? There's another one. Holy cow. Yeah. Very, very fun. Okay, I, got, I have some more. So hang tight. And I'll show you what I did with the rest of these. Well, let's put this over here and this over here. Here's another one. And this is using the Share What You Love Designer Series paper. And again, um, this is a little wider. This is probably an inch wide. Whatever you have left over that you want to use on these little insert cards. This is our velvet ribbon. So very pretty. Let me get this closed up. I got some more to show you. Then I made some Christmas ones, you guys. So I wanted to show you what I did with these. And here comes the first one. What do you think? Happy Christmas to you and yours. Again, this is from the Labels to Love stamp set. This is a fabulous stamp set. Also, you've got this great Halloween greeting in here too. And some ho, ho, ho and some love for Valentine's Day. So super cool. So here is the, um, this one is made, you guys, with the same paper that I made this card with. Yeah, pretty cool. So there we go. We've got this. And I used some of the green Baker's Twine. This is in the Holiday Mini Catalog. And then the other label is right here. And again, with the All is Bright Designer Series paper. So this is cool too. And I used that mixed... Um, ribbon. What is this called? Mixed satin ribbon. That's so, so pretty. It's like grow grain on one side and satin on the other. And I love it because it ties up really, really nice. All right. So hang on here. Oh, I have one more. <gasps> Look at this one. Here's what I did with this. See how that looks more brown than it does Cajun? I wiped the ink off of this one versus just coloring over it with the Cajun craze. But look at that. Here's another pocket card. And this one I used our eighth inch sheer old olive ribbon. And that matches the old olive in here. All right, you guys. So let me get some of the stuff out of the way here. I will be posting dimensions for all of this stuff as soon as we are done being live tonight. Let's put all of these cards out here. My gosh, I think I shared quite a bit, didn't I? <laughs> I love it when I could just give you guys so much content 
and this is really fun. I'm actually doing a um, a swap. My swap card is going to be using the Share What You Love Designer Series paper. I have to make 50 swap cards, and then I have another swap where I need to do 30, and I already have the 33 card one done, so whoo, here we go. Here are all the cards I made tonight. Now, question for you. I could have Steve do a live. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, Melanie, you don't even know how wrong that is. It's wrong on so many levels, like so many levels. I can't even tell you. <laughs> so everybody's telling me, yes, they would like to see me do a pre-recorded show. And um, I don't know exactly how. I mean, I know how to do that. And what I would do is I would record a Facebook Live on a private page that I have. And then I would upload it to YouTube. And then at 7 o'clock on that Sunday night, I would simply load that YouTube video onto my Facebook page. And like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys can just comment away because um, I will probably be watching it wherever I am. I just know that I can't be home by 7 o'clock. And I'm going to be leaving for on stage. So... Let's see, um, this, this next weekend is going to be November 4th. I will be home and doing a Facebook Live on November 4th. But then on the 11th, I will be in Orlando. So I can do it then and see how it goes. I think we'll give it a test run. I think that's a great idea, you guys. Did anybody have any questions that I might have missed? Um, I am just terrible. Oh, let me show you the inspiration for these cards. How about that? Look at this cutie patootie. This was actually a little swap card that I got. And I don't, I don't have the name for the person who made it. But I just really thought that this was a unique fold. And of course, we love unique folds, right? Yeah. So that's how I came up with this card and this cutie. Yeah, super fun, right? Okay, um, I'm looking for looking for um, questions that I might have missed. For some reason, my computer doesn't scroll up and um, keep up with you guys. Yes, yes, Sarita, you can replay this. Once I am done and I am not live anymore, I push a button that posts it right to my Facebook page where you're watching it right now. And so if once we're done and I say goodnight, you can click on the refresh your screen or whatever you have to do on the device you're at and go scroll down until you see the Facebook Live for 1028. You don't want to click on the one for 1021. That was last week. You can watch that later, though. I'm all good with that. <laughs> You guys remember when you're placing your orders, if you could please use the host code if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, do not use that host code. Um, you will get benefits from Stampin' Up! So you don't want to use it if it's over $150. But if it's under $150, you don't get any benefits. And um, the benefits that you use this host code for are what I am able to give you all these drawing things that I give away. So that really helps me out. Sometimes I have to pay for them, but most of the time this code is paying for the free stuff that I give away. The more people that use the code, the more free stuff I can give away. So I love that. Um, Gilmore says, I must, I have missed the share what you love card designs. Glad you brought that in tonight. I know, right? This paper is just so, so pretty. And, of course, I have two packs of it, so I thought I've got enough to make 50 of these. And I've got three rolls of this ribbon. <laughs> so, hopefully, you guys, keep your fingers crossed that I can get through all these swap cards. Um, yeah. So, okay. I don't see... Thank you, guys. Don't forget to share my video, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook. Um, a share is certainly appreciated. And I have to have a shout-out to all my order, ordering customers from last week. Can I just say, feeling the love here. I am feeling the love. My orders last week were like, holy cow. I'm speechless. Thank you guys so much for placing your orders through me because that's what keeps me bringing you fabulous free videos like that is if you order from me, I can stay in business, right? That's how this works. So thank you guys so much. Oh, Michelle is asking, do you put, hang on, it just went away. 
do you put adhesive on the side? No, that's a great question. You don't have to do, there's no glue except on the back to glue it to this piece. There is no glue at all. And this is just a really nice little note card, I think. Um, there's no glue in it. I didn't glue this down either. It's all just about the folding. None of these are glued. You can see they're, um, yeah, no glue. So that's nice too because, you know, it's hard to glue the edges and not have this card stick in there when you're trying to put them in and out, right? I hate that when you make pocket cards. So this was just pretty genius. And kudos to whoever came up with this. My friend Leanne shared it someplace, and I saw it there. And then, like I said, when I started digging around, I found it back in August and all kinds of places. So that's what we do, right? We share. Yeah. Okay. Connie's asking, what is the other card name? This one? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it really doesn't have a name. Um... It just opened weird, and I thought it was pretty cool. That's why I'm like, oh, I like this. <laughs> like, let's see what we can make with that. So, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool, too. This is really spectacular, isn't it? Um, anyways, okay, am I missing any questions? It's going, yes, you guys, use up your designer series paper. You cannot justify buying more if you do not use what you have, right? Well, some of us can, <laughs> but a lot of us can't. Um, it's like, oh, I have so much paper, I can't buy any more paper. I love that paper, it's so, so pretty, but I just can't buy any more paper. Use up your paper. And you know what? Make up a gazillion of these and put them into a photo box and donate them for some type of a raffle or a fundraiser. People love to get those. I can fit 70 cards and envelopes in a photo box that I get at, you know, your big box stores have photo boxes. They're for keeping your photos in. I can get 70 cards and envelopes in there and give them away. And, and people do bidding wars over them because they want those handmade cards. They absolutely love them. All right, you guys. Yep, we're hearing from, um, how do you say your name? Saskia? Saskia. Saskia's a hoarder too. Okay, Karen is asking, can the red rubber stamps be used without the piercing mat to prevent the edges? Yeah, you can. Um, well, the reason why my edges got on um, the samples that I tried to make um, is because I pushed them too hard into my ink pad. I shouldn't be pushing that hard. So once you start getting used to the ink pads and not pushing into them so hard, when you do an ink pad, it's tap, tap, tap. And then you don't get ink all over the place like I did, Karen. So I think that was Karen that asked that, asked that question, right? Jody's asking, what's the name of the pack that you showed at the beginning? The pack of what? The, the um, card kit. Is that what you're talking about, Jody? Or the envelopes? Let me grab that. Okay. Are you talking about the, this kit? This is called Timeless Tidings Project Kit. This is the amazingly beautiful, amazingly beautiful cards. And then this other pack that I showed you, this is the Memories and More Cards and Envelopes Santa's Workshop. Cards and envelopes, cards and envelopes. Does that answer your question? I hope I'm getting through all these questions. I'm looking again here. I see Char did a big fundraiser with 800 cards. Thanks, Shelby. <laughs> Lisa, you are a hoarder. We're all hoarders. <laughs> you need to start making stuff. You know what? It is the best therapy ever to create handmade anything, really. Um, today I made um, homemade Greek yogurt. And uh, although I don't think cooking stuff is therapeutic, this is my therapy. This keeps me sane. This keeps me happy. And I get to make other people happy with what I make, right? Marsha's asking, are there any outside the box ideas for the timeless card set? Um, I I have not used this yet, Marsha. Like I said, I just got this in the mail because I donated mine for a fundraiser. But um, I'm sure it's something that I'll be playing with in the future. So you'll be able to see some of that coming out pretty soon, I would think. 
maybe that's what I'll do for um, my Facebook Live when I'm at on stage. What do you guys think? Oh, Gilmore wants the Greek yogurt recipe. I've been thinking about sharing that. Um, I have to take some pictures of the whole process. Um, I think you'll really like it. I love my Greek yogurt. I like can't even hardly stand to buy the junk in the stores anymore. I watched this thing on the doctors that said the um, th they were they were uh, looking into different Greek yogurts, and some of them put sawdust in them as a filler. Are you kidding me? How disgusting is that? I'm not a big um, natural food person or anything like that because I hate to cook, and that's a lot of work to do all that. <laughs> But I don't like junk in my food. You know, when I'm eating yogurt, I need to know that it's yogurt. And now that I make my own, I know exactly what is in there. So Shelby says this has been a lifesaver for her through two divorces and being an empty nester. Right, Shelby? And you can make fabulous gifts with it, too, and make people happy and send out your cards. And Thanks, Lisa. I think I will do a video. Yeah, I'm with you. That's disgusting. The yogurt thing is disgusting. All right, you guys. Um, my stepdaughter Stephanie wants me to call her tonight after I'm done with my Facebook Live. So I'm going to let all you wonderful people go on about your evening. Thank you so much for joining me. I am just feeling truly blessed, honored to have you here with me tonight. I will be back on November 4th. And um, maybe I'll do this kit. Maybe I'll come up with some ideas with this kit. That's not a bad idea. So I like it. All right. I'll, I'll get to work on that after I get done with my stamp camp next weekend. Oh, my Lord, I got a lot of work to do there. Thanks, you guys. You have a wonderful week. Good night.